Welcome to Shardcast, the Brandon Sanderson podcast. We're a bunch of mega fans giving you the news discussion and, of course, a whole lot of opinions about Brandon's work and the Cosmere. I'm Eric, and joining me, very tired from doing work outside, is Ian. Hey, today I'm living up to the weary part of Weary Rider, so if I fall asleep halfway through the episode, you know oh. why. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, where are you going with this? <laughs> also joining me, carefully making us avoid having critical audio errors, is David. Hi, I'm Winner on the forums, and I'm not very tech-savvy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And lastly, joining us is Grace. I'm Gator Girl, and I don't get a fun intro? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can Something think about Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we may have talked, a, like, did a fake Star Wars podcast for the past hour uh, <laughs> before recording this. But today, Coming guys... Soon. No. no. <laughs> that's the next Outtakes uh, episode. You get to hear our Star brand. Wars opinions. Oh my god. I don't know if people would care. About- you know, that's actually funny because the first Outtake episode, there was a long Star Wars thing that I actually cut from that, actually. <laughs> uh, but this time, guys, we are going to do an episode on a mystery... Of the Cosmere. It's Shardcast Mysteries. Woo! But first, we're going to talk about the news. <laughs> yes. So, no, you hyped that. <laughs> uh, yes. Around Gen Con. Um, yes. Brennan announced something. So, what did he announce? Uh, Brother Wise Games, which is a company that makes games, funnily enough. It's in their mm. name. Um, <laughs> Thanks for that a stunning analysis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they're, they're doing a very successful Kickstarter for a new card game where you basically, like, make a hero, at collecting different cards to, like, power up your hero, and the best hero wins at the end. Um, hmm. But the important thing is that in the latter half of next year, there will be a Stormlight-themed expansion of this game. So, Stormlight card game. Woo, you get to become a Knight's Radiant. And That seems neat. I've actually been yeah. looking at um, the Kickstarter for this game, and it looks super fun. And I'm seriously considering dropping a lot of money on this. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm done with Kickstarters <laughs> for me. It's like, yeah, yeah that looks cool. I'm uh, still waiting for but- the... Shattered Plains Bridge Assault game. But it does seem like the people are, like, really committed to, like, making this very Stormlighty, where, like, you're gonna earn your Shard Blade and your Shard Plate, and you're gonna have, like, your Edge Dancer movement, and apparently and stuff. Well, with, so that's kind of cool. With, like, a yeah. hero building game, like, that that makes a lot of sense for mm-hmm. Stormlight, so mm-hmm. that, that, seems, yeah. Yeah. that seems neat. And the art they have released looks really, really yeah. cool. Yeah, all of the art, like, the, on the Kickstarter is spectacular. It's beautiful. Yeah, well... We'll have to see how much of that art comes in the game and how that works out in practice. I'm, I'd be eager to see. Well, since they're like images of cards, like I'm assuming yeah. it's going to make it into the game. Well, yeah, but like, you know, of all the cards, there's lots of cards. And if you need a lot of different art, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, we'll, we'll I, see how it goes. Yeah. But and the um, bridge chasm running board game is still in development as far as we know. I haven't heard anything in a while, so I'm like, okay. There really hasn't been news for a long time. I'm still waiting on Birthright, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you're going to be... Okay. Come on, fiddle fall, fell. He's coming. <laughs> uh, I have some bad news for you on that one, David. <laughs> uh, that fall 2013. Yes. Fall I, I don't 2013. think I mentioned it, but the name of the game is Call to Adventure. Ah, yes. And okay. they're launching with a, a, um, an expansion based around The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Cool. So. Awesome. It, All right. it, it will actually probably be over by the time this episode is out. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 100%. Definitely. definitely. Yeah. They definitely need to pick a series that is finished to use, but, you know, one of these days. <laughs> yes. Hey, in Stormlight, you get three bucks of information. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so speaking of Stormlight, we have a Stormlight mystery today, guys. How did the boombox get on Taldane? No, no. Oh, well, I brought it back a in time. A stormlight mystery. A stormlight mystery. No. Is it a favorite and boombox? No. no, no. Guys, stop ruining the intro. Uh, 
But that's why we, are- we exist. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I should just... If I had better production quality, I'd just mute you guys. <laughs> um, I guess I can mute you guys in post. We're going to be talking about the missing shard blades. Dun, dun, dun. And in case you guys forgot, because this is a, actually a pretty subtle thing that's really easy to forget, I am going to read a quick excerpt from the Recreant's vision in The Way of Kings, which is chapter 58. The scout outside backed his horse up. There looked to be a good 200 shard bearers out there. Alethkar owned some 20 blades. Yakaved a similar number. If one added up all the rest in the world, there might be enough total to equal the two po- powerful Voran kingdoms. That meant, as, so far as he knew, there were less than 100 blades in all of the world. And here he saw 200 shard bearers gathered in one army. It was mind-numbing. And, uh, of course, then what happens is they all get rid of all of their shards. Mm-hmm. And so this, this is more shards than exist currently in the present day. That are and publicly known. That are publicly <laughs> known. Yes, yes, correct, mm-hmm. correct, correct. But also, the deep lore thing is that these are priceless artifacts that have been, that kingdoms have fought wars over, mm-hmm. right? So very, very important objects. How many radians did they think there were? If they were like, well, we got 80 shard blades, but there were like 80 radians total. Well, so this, you wouldn't say, uh, so this had the wind runners and the stone wards, right? Mm-hmm. But this, this wasn't even, all of them. No, there's another. There's no way. It was all Another wind hundred runners. wind runners about to drop out of the sky in like the next paragraph after this. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Wendy's point was that like modern day Rosharns, how many did, yeah, how many radians what? did they think existed? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 true. But like, this is a f- small fraction of mm-hmm. the of the nine orders who betrayed their oaths, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, although the bondsmiths wouldn't have dropped blades, so that doesn't matter for this discussion. Yeah. So eight who would drop blades and plate. Uh, and so this is a small amount of windrunners and a small amount of storm wards, and there were lots more. And this just alone, this small amount is more than all of the shard bearers that they know of. And so the question becomes, Mm -hmm. where are all the missing shard blades? So to play Odium's advocate. Okay. um, (laughs) (laughs) Different orders have different numbers of people. Like, obviously, like, Bondsmiths have three. Like, I always imagined, like, Windrunners and Stonewards are among the most numerous uh, orders because sure. like they are like actually like fighting wars and stuff it's like you need military infrastructure to like support they're the more combat oriented orders I yeah feel sure like. and yeah. wind runners also have a large number of squires so that probably yeah. helps yeah. get them so to a so it's number yeah so it's not like every order had like 500 members that like their shard blades are gone mm-hmm. it's like like yeah like maybe each order had like at least a hundred yeah, but sure. even like conservatively though, like if we just assume like the 200 red wind runners we see is like the average size of a Knights Radiant Order, that's 1600 blades that yeah, we don't like, know. Is, still is, this e- blade. is this even all of the wind runners? I doubt I it. That. I doubt it. But you know, yeah. like it, like even if we just assumed it was, you know, <laughs> yeah, you're you're missing a lot of blades. Yeah, a lot so, of them. Like my point is like, yes, there are like a ton missing, like, but it might not be as much as you initially think. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Sure. So, today, guys, we are going to spitball some maybe questionable <laughs> theories on the number of uh, on these missing shard blades, because, admittedly, we don't know anything about this. No. This is not, this has never come up. This is the only time it's been mentioned in the books, I think, right? Uh, it's been alluded to, maybe, but, like, maybe it, it, not really something people are thinking yeah. about in world. Yeah. No. Yeah. Dalinar is not constantly pondering where are the blades, you know? Yeah. 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 It, it just, these are priceless artifacts that are very efficient. Uh, and I, I feel like that has to be important somewhere. Uh, so we're going to talk about some theories there. And uh, one important thing that I want to mention is that it took, it took a bit of time before one could even bond a sh- dead shard blade. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. How long was that again? It was decades before they figured out how to put the gems on the pommels and bond them to themselves. Right. So all these blades that they were grabbing, that the, the random people were grabbing, uh, were, were not very secure, <laughs> let's say. So yeah. probably pretty easy to lose things, to be perfectly honest. But yeah. I... I I think people would still keep track of them, but it would get very chaotic around the recreants, right? And I bet they were probably, they like, you know, at the time, they were less valuable just because there were more of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, they well, had 1,600, so, like, true. it wasn't like losing a blade when there's only 80. It's like, oh, man, one of a 1,000 went missing. Oh, damn, you know? <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, these are like six foot swords. Yeah, they're still You're awesome. Gonna... But it's in, like, it won't, it would have been as noteworthy to have lost one back in the day. Yeah. I guess that's true. But, it's, but my point is, you're not just going to, like, lose it under the couch cushions, like... No. You never know. <laughs> you will want to find that. Yeah. You will want to find that again. Uh, so, uh, let's start with you, David, having been the illustrious writer of our current Shard Blade article on that the That still needs an update. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. We'll but get not there. much of one. But uh, it's very expansive. What do you think about this? What story? do I think about it? Um, where okay. are the blades? Where are the blades? And plate, and plate, and too, plate. Right? Yeah, which doesn't get as much attention because it's not because no, plate is true. not as much fun as the blades, even if it is probably better. <laughs> yeah. uh, better. Anyway, uh, I do legitimately think like a fair number probably just ended up getting lost in time. You know, like a battle happens before a high storm. Really light shard blade gets blown right off the face of the continent. You know, like <laughs> they're I in think, the ocean. So, well, some of them <laughs> probably are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess, that'd I be guess good, that's true. That'd be cool. Naval battle with a shard bear who's just cutting massive holes in the sides of enemy ships and just like, oh my whatever. goodness. That'd that be sounds kinda, awesome. Yeah. Write it, Brandon. <laughs> anyway. that's, 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 what the, that's what the space runners are going to do in Mistborn Era 4, that they're going to just have uh, a wind runner who's in space with a, with a shard blade helmet and cut holes in uh, enemy spaceships. <laughs> You know, that's actually yeah. a really good idea. <laughs> that actually does sound pretty awesome. Yeah. Not gonna Poor lie, Scadriel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, uh, they have the FTL, so true. Um, but uh, so I would say, like, I wouldn't be surprised if like five to ten percent of the blades that existed just got are lost on old battlefields, buried in creme somewhere. Like the Parshendi found. That's where they got their blades. Were in ruins that they had found. Oh, I guess that's true. Like, yeah. Huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. they did just. Find Although I still them. have questions about that because. Because no, Stormseat fell during the Recreant, so they had, or not during no, the Recreant, during no. Ahari ATM, or however you yes. say that. Well, supposedly, supposedly, supposedly the last. I have episode. my questions about the fall of Natanaton, but anyway. <laughs> yes, we all do. That's another uh, episode. Anyway, and there, this is like my out there theory, but I would not be surprised if there was an organization or group that for some reason had been snapping them up to save for Odium because his fused seemed to think that those are really cool and they want to collect a bunch of them for reasons unknown, like when they retrieved Eshenai's shard blade. So I bet they would not be oh, upset to have shard blades in the hands of their fused who cannot make their own so far as we have seen. Yeah, I guess they would like basically have never had the ability to use shard blades prior to this ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. Right? Yeah. that would, I mean, I guess it would, probably be some radiance who betrayed their oaths mm -hmm. just being idiots during yeah. the thousand years right <laughs> yeah. but mm -hmm. and what if they did with those blades just like S ian what do you think we'll, we'll we'll get back to odium there because i think that's very important okay so my thought is that there is no one answer to what happened to this that's fair okay a, a lot of it i think is just over time they get lost it's been 2000 years like yeah even if like one is lost like every 50 years that's still like a good chunk of blades yeah and it's also like that figure of like 80 shard blades that's all of the ones that are known but we see people like Liss, the assassin who has a shard blade well that's true too. and yeah. like, Hannah Vanar had many, a secret one yeah like how many like families have secret shard blades yeah yeah and the Sky um, Breakers ha have some because they gave one to Helrin. I yeah. don't think there's like one answer to like where are the shard blades? Which are all like they're in like these like half a dozen places or just like at the bottom of the ocean. Like who knows? <laughs> <laughs> that is a 
likely answer and also a boring one. Yes, uh, it is. I, like, <laughs> I'm like, why are you coming to me? I have the most boring answer. I, I will say, I think a common theory is that Skybreakers are collecting them. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah. they're the ones who didn't betray their oaths, so they could have just been like yeah i mean these these idiots having these dead blades that's not okay and maybe maybe they're gr- uh, grabbing them up they clearly have a non-zero amount of them maybe but they have a lot of them my issue with that is any skybreaker that touches a shard blade is going yeah, to hear the screaming true. so it's like what are they doing with them they can't use them yeah true the thing you're forgetting though grace is that the skybreakers suck <laughs> and so they're just going to do whatever they want to do no but uh <laughs> i don't get why they like why they like pass them out like to uh, Helleron, you know? Like they're just like, here's a shard blade. You're gonna get a spren later, but you can play around with this for a while. That, does, you know? that uh, did always seem weird, though, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It, and like but it's mentioned in Ray's letter, with, but we, we see the same thing with like um Seth in Nightblood. Like Nolly just gives like him Nightblood. So it's like <laughs> he's, just given, he's, he just given, <laughs> he's just given uh blades. He's like, like hey, I, I got this blade. You seem good. He's All like, right. I dual weed an honor blade and a living shard blade, so everyone else should dual wield shard blades as well. That'd be something. Can you imagine the skybreaker showing up and they all have an additional blade and everyone's like, uh it'd be a hard to use though. Yeah. You put them all on your hands and you <laughs> pretend they're Wolverine claws. <laughs> I'm waiting for that's Stormlight 10, Eric. Don't spoil everybody. <laughs> oh, sorry. Until that, they that, fight that's, Odium. That's when Kaladin gets Super Saiyan and has all the blades. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, no, sorry. A Herald would need to do it, right? Yeah. No, we just go uh, Final Fantasy or Kaladin 15 is and a they herald. just like float around you. Oh, okay. That works too. Yeah. Yeah. You lash them around. Yeah. It makes sense. Uh, Grace, what do you think? All right, so I think David and Ian's answers are both super boring. Oh, I like. Well, that. I mean, I think that too. But I just, the Odium thing is boring. I will not contest that point. I just really want there to be somewhere, like some some group that's been stockpiling all the blades, and that's just going to show up out of nowhere and just too. be like, "We're just going to." With more blades than anyone on Roshore has seen before in their lives, just like we're gonna come and destroy everything and mess everything up i think that like the question when like the like the missing blades are gonna become relevant again is when adolin manages to fix maya and they're like oh we can fix these and they're like what happened because that's a goodwill thing with the spread where they're like hey we're gonna resurrect all your people who have been dead like that's love really us again point. and start bonding us again you know that's a really okay. good point and it's like these are all spread that are experienced mm-hmm. and have knowledge about fighting yeah. the fused. Yeah, just well, they could be post last desolation, David. Uh, they could be some of them. Some would of be, them, like but yeah. a lot, a lot of, of them, are going to be. Yeah, yeah, because I think a lot were created when Honor died, but I don't know how fat. Who knows what the Spren birth rate is? Questions for Brandon. Well, who knows how Honor's to. death did, mattered in anything really, yeah. right? But uh. Okay, so that's that was post recreants. So post recreants, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, so okay, so you at least have two groups. The fused, I think, are going to be very interested in dead blades. Mm-hmm. Oh, I yeah. think right, if like, they don't have them, they are probably looking for them like yeah. a lot. I think they would like if they were grabbing Eshenai's stuff. Like they know that they're important. Yeah, because they've fought them many, many times, but they've never been able to use them before. So that's they're def- terrifying. Definitely. So just trying to get them like now that we can use these weapons that have been used against us many times we're going to i do also like the idea that uh the radiance will be interested in them to try and revive them yeah over time that's a cool idea as well Mm -hmm. uh but yeah I, i do i do really want there to be some like shard blade cash full of full of things and i i'm really worried about if the skybreakers have them that because that would not be cool if like odium is just like yo now i have all the because the skybreakers turned now i have all these blades that and they, will they totally would too god i do not like the skybreakers <laughs> no you don't there's some other theories too though yeah uh and so another theory and i know ben jebus who is not on this episode because he's getting married congrats uh, ben <laughs> yes congrats 
is that the Amians have them and that they're hidden under Amia. With the Dawn Shards. <laughs> Maybe, well, In well, the caves yeah. under Amia. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, if you if you think about like the the Amians, right? They're basically immortal. Mm. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They would probably not want random idiots to be having shard blades. Can <laughs> like, Amians probably, probably not a shard blade? Who knows? <laughs> well, uh, can can Amians be radiants explicitly? Uh, well, I mean, I would least, say yes. But. I think Sia Amians could bond a dead shard blade. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. singers can do it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah. I think any sapient humanoid could. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whether Dicean <laughs> Amians could, because they're a thousand Kremlings in a trench coat. Like, I, I don't know <laughs> yeah. how that would interact. Like, eh. Yeah. Or like how they'd get it to the island. You know, if they get a shard blade out, like they steal one and they're like, all right, I got the six foot blade that I can't bond. Let's wrap it up. You know, like, how do we get this on a boat? If they well, can't you bond just it, wrap you know? it up. And then all of the Kremlings just fl- like pick up the corners of the thing and fly it to Amy. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> like all the ants in Ant-Man. You just have a bunch of, yeah. Yeah. But they're horrible. See, I was imagining them like putting it inside their body and like wrapping it around. They're just like extra tall for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a lot of easy methods to do this. Uh, not a problem. But uh Are you smuggling a shard blade or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> huh. We we do know though that clearly the Amians are protecting something mm-hmm. under yeah. Amia, for sure. Yeah, the power to destroy worlds, which doesn't sound like yeah. shard blades to me, to be honest. It, it, that's true. It doesn't. I do think dawn shard is more likely, but there could be like a few hundred shard blades there too. Sure, yeah. maybe that's like not noteworthy. Like you could destroy a world with a shard blade, like one chop at a time. It would take a really <laughs> long time, but like you could do it. <laughs> yeah, it's like sure. when someone asked Brandon if Dalinar could cut his way to the core, and he's like, "Yeah, but he would get pretty warm before he got there." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that question. <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah. yeah. I, this is not Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. Unfortunately. I, I feel like, maybe they're not even noteworthy, though. Like, you got, like, a couple Dawn Shards floating around, they're like, oh, yeah, we also have 1,600 priceless blades, but we got a Dawn Shard, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, it can bind all creatures, mortal and voidish, David. <laughs> one of them can. <laughs> at least one, yeah, at least one. Maybe that one, under Amia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess like is that would that be the only motivation we can think of for the Amians is that they just want to take them out of the hands of the humans because they don't. I think trust it's them. a pretty good reason. Yeah, it it, yeah. it is a good reason. Like I, if I was an Amian, I would not want this kind of chaos to exist mm-hmm. on Roshar. Like th- the period after the Recreant sounds awful, like super awful. Every idiot. And their idiot friends who were grabbing blades and just all murdering each other to get more blades. And then they're being betrayed by other people. And it's just all just chaos. There's no governance. Everything mm-hmm. is awful. From from that standpoint, it makes you wonder how much was the recurrence, like, of the recurrence was the Radiance just playing right into what Odium wanted, you know? I, I That's mean, a big question. Yeah. Well, isn't that... Wasn't that Odium's whole point? Like, hey, let's wait a while, and that, that was his yeah, whole plan, Yeah, but it just plan, sounds like, right? yeah, it just sounds very, like, directly, like, exactly what he wanted, you know? Well, I don't think it it was, like, an active plan on Odium's part. It mm, was just a no. passive, like, I'm just gonna wait until, like, something fortuitous happens. I bet he was And stoked, something though. fortuitous happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, watching uh, from plays. <laughs> like, shards, time doesn't really matter. Like, mm-hmm. oh, well, what's a few thousand years to me? Nothing. Yeah basically right i can plan i can go develop this everstorm pretty well okay uh wait for a good time to use it 4500 years later so of other people who could be taking blades and hiding them skybreakers amians i mean those are those are reasonable guesses right Mm -hmm. yeah heralds i guess could uh there is in the backstool interlude um Shalash makes a reference and like, oh, maybe I should get me a shard blade. And talks about how yeah. like it would be easy for her. Mm-hmm. Which confuses Baxel. Yeah. But makes total sense because like she's a herald, she can do what she wants. 
Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. how many of her abilities does she have access to is a very interesting well, point. Know. Yeah. If she's, she's if very she's like, old and hard to kill, uh-huh. so she can yeah. pretty much do what she wants. She'll find you. She'll assassinate you in your sleep. It yeah. won't be a problem. Yeah, I know. I feel like yeah, I feel like she's clever enough that she could just get her hands on anything if she really wanted to. But yeah, sure. See, I think the heralds could take them. I'm just not sure if any of them actually want to. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. think any of them would do it. Maybe like, Ishar, but like if he if had Ishar... them, I think he'd be doing better in that war of his. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, that is true. Ishar would probably be the one who wants them, but uh, news hasn't come around to the new hundred shard bearers that are fighting in the eighties war. The so. poor, the poor Emuli are like, why do we keep losing? And every soldier has a shard blade they're fighting, and they're like, okay. See, I can just doesn't <laughs> that seem out. like something Ishar would do? They're like, come bow down before me, and I can bestow upon you a blade of power to prove that I am God. Like. That does sound like a yeah. thing he would do. Yeah, like if he, if he had could them, do he would it, not he would be quiet have. about. It. Yeah, I mean that's true. But we don't know what Chana's up to. We don't know what Polly's up to. You know. Well, that like, that seems to imply to me though that if Ishar, because Ishar would definitely use them, that means he, he both uh doesn't currently have them, and it's too annoying for him to get that many. Mm-hmm. Right or doesn't In know where sense. they are, like where or like doesn't a large know where they are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like given enough time, like he could amass a collection, but he's sure. busy being god priest. And he's gonna like, be a good guy, and he so can't, can't just like go him. like, oh, I need to go like find like five shard blades. It's like no, like I'm too busy being god. Like, yeah, yeah, that's true. Who else could be having shard blades? Trying to think. Uh, oh, World Hopper that ju- organizations. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, World Hoppers. They could all be. They could all be on Vax. So one thing. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we'll add that to the list for our inevitable Vax podcast. That's ten minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> so one thing I was thinking is that I would almost be more surprised if Marais didn't have a shard blade than if he did have one. Yeah. It. it- like, he I has an EVR in the Time of Stormlight archive. Like, he probably has a shard blade somewhere. <laughs> That's true. It would have helped like, him get the EVR. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't think it would be his weapon of, like, first use. Because I, I could see him being like, oh, that's a lazy person's weapon. Like, it's so easy to use, blah, 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 blah. But, well, like, also, yeah, he definitely has one in reserve. Like a shard like, blow dart, like he likes to do. <laughs> That'd be something. You can't, don't get to change their shapes. They're dead. Like, they change slowly over time, Eric, to accommodate the wielder, even if they are dead. <laughs> shard to blow a blow dart. dart. <laughs> to a blow a dart. Time. They're still shard. And they're they're still sword. Shorter, shorter and shorter just every year. Mistborn Era 4. Hoid's like fusing together Adenalcium again, and there's just one dude on Roshar is like, it's gonna be a blow dart someday. <laughs> it's three feet <laughs> long now. <laughs> yes, made it. But uh I also using a blade is also brings a lot of attention to yourself mm-hmm. that Raze would really not want to yeah. do mm-hmm. for but the most part. He probably has one just for the collection factor of it. Mm-hmm. Or no how to get one. Yeah, like, you know? Yeah, like, yeah the ghost yeah. bloods might have a few, and, like, he could requisition one, but... Like. <laughs> yeah. Shard yeah. Bl- yeah, Secret Shard Blade is a really good ace up your sleeve for, like, a lot of situations where <laughs> yeah. someone wants to get you. Yeah. yeah. We see that <laughs> with... great for Tin. Sh- Shalon and Tin. Like, and yeah. Dalinar uh, and Amaram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, al- you always gotta have your Secret Shard Blade. Who changed owners? It's like, haha! Now I have this blade. Um, that that part of Words of Radiance was always really weird to me, where Dalmar's like, ah, but I switched these blades too. I love that moment. That was like my favorite. Like yeah. I literally screamed in joy. I was so excited. No, that, that was he had good too. Again. But I was just like, this wasn't like foreshadowed particularly great. But, but he was sure. sick for three days, Eric. Wow, he was cool. That was it. mentioned like once. Wow, it's cool. mentioned a few times, and it's like yeah, in okay. retrospect, it's like. You can see the foreshadowing. It's just not, yeah. you don't notice it. Yeah. yeah. You don't notice it. It's like, like, hmm, this is foreshadowing for something. I don't know oh, yeah. what, but. The yeah. Shin are always a candidate yeah. for having They have the things. honor blades. They have the honor blades. I might just like mm-hmm. swords. 
but they don't the use nice swords or so. Yeah, maybe because I don't know. What if each one of their like slave soldiers has a shard blade? They just like are never <laughs> summoning them. <laughs> the the Shin invasion of Roshar was Would very intense. <laughs> it's like, oh, I want all these shard blades, and then everyone forgot about it. Yeah, <laughs> but like. It's always weird that the Shin have honor blades, right? Yeah. I guess. All I the still. Honor blades? They, they've got eight, seven. Yeah. I don't know. They got seven, yeah. Yeah, they well, got seven. I'm, I'm, in the vision, I'm saying that guy, there's a Shin guy who walked right up and was like, damn, look at those honor blades. And he got them. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. He did. Yeah. I mean, he went and got some friends, but. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure. So is so one of Seth's rules for being truthless is that he can't give up his shard blade, right? So is that yeah. like a thing all truthless have? Because that would imply that yes, every truthless can't give up has a shard blade well, or honor, honor blade. blade. I think truthless are very, very, very rare. Like, yeah, incredibly rare. Yeah. Do we know that? Yes. I don't know. Yeah, I, well, I think we'd have to see a second truthless. Uh, I, I don't know what Brandon said of the truthless. I I've heard people theorize that Seth's like situation is unique because he like had he was like the person who was chosen to have Yezran's honor blade, and then he became a truthless, and they like couldn't take it from him for some reason. But because um, some people conflate like Shin warriors and truthless because they both have oath stones, but like they they are dif- oh, huh. distinct things. Yeah. Huh. Because yeah. um, in the first Rissen interlude, where um, Mistone oh, is you're trading right. with the uh, Shin farmer, mm-hmm. it's like they talk about Seth because mm-hmm. yeah, Mistone is the one that got Seth from the Shin, right? And, and like the the farmer guy is like, no, and I hope we never like, no, we don't mm-hmm. have another one of those, and I hope we like never, never do, do. Yeah. yeah, it's like truthless. It's like a fundamental betrayal of Shin beliefs so it's like it's super rare mm-hmm. man i i do want to see those flashbacks because i'm like this is not really like making sense to me like i mean it, it, it makes sense but i just i just want to see it happen yeah you know? seth's got like a weird backstory with like his maybe early spren and like his whole <laughs> yeah i don't like know saying the void bringers are back and what he saw that made him think that yeah, what did he see like it must be important but yeah i, I guess the the truthless would be rare but yeah Ze- yeah, Zeth trained in all the surges. <laughs> okay. NPT. <laughs> Passing those honor blades around. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they all need to talk to him and, like, learn up some stuff is what they need to do. But. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To be fair, probably true. Yeah. That probably seems like a good idea. That That's why they're o- okay with this. Like, uh, he, he knows he's really good with surges, so it, it, great. <laughs> Would have been a better explanation than we got. <laughs> <laughs> than the zero explanation? Yeah. Huh. Kavani, meet my new friend. <laughs> oh, that's how oh, book so. book four starts. Like Navani kills Seth. <laughs> One year later, and she's like, "About time." I'm sick of this. I'm sick so of this crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, so my big... becomes Odium's champion. Hmm. Whoa. But um, the Shin yes. do uh, don't seem like they will think think it will be difficult to just go and get the honor blade back from Zeth. Yeah, that's so true. Collecting shard blades might not be that difficult for them. If they're just like, oh yeah, yeah you know, you can be anywhere on Roshar well, and mm-hmm. die and have that honor blade, we'll get it back, don't uh, worry. We'll collect the honor blade. Like, what? Wait, what? How? I, was, I still, like, that was the biggest thing I was hoping for in, like, Oathbringer was that the Shin would show up with, like... <laughs> The seven other honor blades to come pick up Seth, and like they're just gonna yeah. wreck everything. But oh man, that was my That's hope true. for the bug. Now yeah. they're gonna kill Moash, so oh, <laughs> good thing they waited. <laughs> and look at, and then it'll just show Moash's character development and how he's so awesome that'll just kill all the stone shamans before Seth can. Easy. Poor and Seth. Seth. Can you imagine then, how bum he'd be when he shows up and in no, Shemar? And then, and then, <laughs> and then Zeph and Kaladin need to team up together to fight Moash, because they will both have a grudge against Moash. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do this. This is a bad idea. <laughs> okay, so probably Shin doesn't seem super likely that they have them, but I mean, I guess the Stone Shamans would just use the other Honor Blades to go... Yeah take their warriors to find whatever missing honor blade. But. I wouldn't mm-hmm. be surprised if the Shin have a few shard blades. Like, 
They probably do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like it I said, there, there's thing. a few yeah. in a lot of different places. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. One idea that just popped into my head, whatever person or group took Talon's Honor Blade had an unknown shard blade to just pop well, right well, in there that to is replace it. true. Them. That is yeah. an that is... excellent point. Yes. Yeah. What is up what is up with Talon's Honor Blade? I don't know. It's yeah. somewhere on Rushar still. There. That you know employee that. didn't take in it. In the ocean. Yeah. They wouldn't Probably. fight it there, would they? Yeah. <laughs> no. To be safe. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, we is... really don't know anything about what happened to Talon's Honor Blade. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Man, that feels like it could have been another Herald to me, maybe. But, you know. Maybe. Well, that's 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 true. Oh, that, that would probably be the easiest explanation, because we do have heralds unaccounted for. Mm-hmm. We don't think it's the other secret societies, right? Which one? <laughs> like ghost bloods? Do you, do you think ghost bloods would do that? I feel they like didn't if... seem to know anything about town, though. No. Right? They, they knew where he was. They did know where he was. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it kind of depends when, right? Yeah, I don't think they switched the honor blade. Yeah. You know, they, they might did because, have some shard blades, but yeah, no, because they sent Shallan to investigate him to find out if he was real, really the herald yeah. or not. Do you think the Shin could have switched it out? Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> the last one. We're gonna great. Now we have yeah. all of them. We're back to eight Nail again. Stolen. Yeah, <laughs> it's like ah, curses. Although they didn't seem to have a problem with uh, Nail retaking his own, so I don't think they have a problem with the actual heralds having the honor blades. I, I guess. guess. Well, did they guess. know? Did they know that Nail had it though? Because Seth like recognized it, but he went mm. back for it. Yeah, I know. But I'm saying, did that? But did not? Did Nail show up and go, "Hey guys, I messed up. I'm gonna need that blade <laughs> back." Or did Nail show up and just take it? You know, and not really talk to anybody. Who knows? I, I could mean, Nail yeah. would not way, steal honestly. something, so we probably went through the proper legal it's his channels. Property. Oh, that's that is true. It is mine and. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I just really want to know more about Shin culture and really like feel that oh, because yeah. right now it's just like really mysterious. We don't even know where their oath gate is in the Valley of Truth, Eric. <laughs> okay, great. Which I think is basically oh, the whole country. So <laughs> this is one of the places we know exists. Great, oh, great logic. One other theory, and this was uh, Mestiv on uh, the forums and Discord. He was. We were planning this podcast, and he's just like, oh, yeah, the missing shard blades are in the Sea of Spears. I'm like, what are you talking? Wait, what? And he found me this quote. Uh, where, where is this from? Let me find this. It's getting one of the times when Kaladin is flying over to, like, either when he's flying to a left car the first time or the second time. So this is from uh, Way of Kings, Chapter 46. Uh, and it is Kaladin flying in his mission. David. <laughs> and it's in a moment he was past them, continuing north and west to soar across the Sea of Spears, a shallow inland sea where broken fingers of rock jutted above the water. And uh Mestiv's logic was, well, if high storm turn if high storms turned storm seed into a bunch of hills, what could happen to blades? Why would you just be leaving them sitting around for a few centuries? But yeah, it's like, I don't know. I'd be very amused if this was the case, but I don't necessarily because like I picture these like fingers of rock being fairly significant in size to be mm-hmm. like yeah, noticeable Callum from the, like the yeah. sky. That, yeah. yeah. It, like yeah, it would be amusing if that was the case. It's like, oh yeah, just yes. break the rocks, but I don't yeah. know how plausible it is i kind of have two thoughts in response to that now that i'm thinking about it a okay. kaladin and company should have kept like a weather eye out because celebrant is on the reflection of the sea of spears and so there should have been dead eyes just standing around all over the place there doing nothing uh, they could have uh, been locked up they could have well yeah well they're yeah they could have been i guess since they don't have to actually yeah. maybe they just like pin them all together because they're tired of looking at them yeah. and feeling sad but um uh and b the fingers of rock thing actually honestly sounds to me a little bit like the place where they describe the end of the battle of, uh, you know, the end of the final desolation, you know, where like they leave the shard blades and it's like their meeting place at the end of the war, which they don't know where that is anymore. So random observation, oh. but there were like pillars of rock all around. Yeah, I guess there were. Maybe it's flooded now for some reason. 
Just an idea. Erosion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But not that the pillars. Yeah. Not the pillars. No. Well, you know. Yeah, because those. Are, the, well, they put the blades on top of the pillars, and that's they recover. There you the go. I mean, there you go. Easy. We're gonna take this a moment, guys, to break for our sponsor. <sighs> yep. You yep. have to leave totally that side in there now. Was though. that a cheer oh, yeah. I just heard? Yeah. Yeah. Are you feeling powerless? Are you missing that special connection? Are you lacking the light in your life? Well, Baedo Mishram's <laughs> misconnections can help. She'll find the exact person for you, and it's her. You'll be you'll all be together with Ba Edo Mishram, following her orders and murdering Radiant Radiance, so you won't be lobotomized. Ba Edo Mishram's misconnections trademark <laughs> okay that one was amazing that was pretty good yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah i i like that one God, i gotta put by to me i my goal in shardcast is just to have all of you listeners remember that by to mishram is important okay and she's under colon r <laughs> <laughs> maybe i do like that theory of yours david okay great well with that special message from by to mishram done with she she's a big fan of podcast because oh, yeah. i'm a big fan of hers so it's an obvious synergy <laughs> um i had a really crazy theory that i don't really like anymore about the missing shard blades that i posted uh in december and it's really weird uh and it, it kind of it made me think about the relationship between the dead eye in shades mar in the blade in the physical realm. Because they do not need to be in the same location. They do not even need to be in the reflection of the same location. And they're two pieces of like the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so my crazy idea was that somehow you bring the blades into Shades, Mar. Okay, all right, all right. Walk with me. I don't even know if that's possible. Mm -hmm. But maybe trying to like help revive the dead eye or something that maybe some spren tried to do that or something mm -hmm. or even like yeah. i don't want you using my dad's corpse for a weapon anymore sure sure yeah. and i mean you wouldn't find them in the physical realm if they were in chase bar <laughs> right yeah 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 my i have two main issues with that is that uh, like, yeah one i don't think it's possible to take a like a physical shard blade into the cognitive realm because yeah like, bringing physical stuff in the cognitive realm is just weird it is to begin weird. with yeah. it is weird but i don't know how that works so it's just like i don't know if that's possible and two like how would the spread be doing this yeah, yeah that's my question societies mm. were completely decimated for like two thousand years yes that's a, that's, and that's if they like point. somehow transition to the physical realm then they're not conscious anymore yeah right? they're not sapiens, really yeah, yeah they got friends and they're just like we got they, to do they a talked with the amians they talked with the amians <laughs> the amians helped easy those are very good points so ian i'm guessing you don't think there's a thriving shard blade market in silverlight i bet there's at least one there see i think that like potentially world hoppers have taken shard blades from roshar to silverlight but like you can't use them there because you can't summon them you just well the dead eye just screams at yes. you <laughs> oh yeah would be kind of a bummer yeah that would be a bummer i i guess what i'm wondering yeah obviously we see adolin and he can't summon his shard blade in uh the cognitive realm yeah but how do unbonded blades work? That's the like weird that, thing. it's weird, right? Yeah. Like I yeah. don't really understand how that works. And th this was admittedly a theory that I had very late at night. I'm like, yeah, I'm posting this because uh, it's a theory, I guess. Sure. <laughs> and if I if I'm right, then I'll look really smart. Um, it's all about but, the numbers game. <laughs> yeah. Right. But that's the only reason we do this podcast. So we seem smart in two years when all of our theories. No. Are no, we also do it to help inform. 
Maybe that's also why you to, do it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my goal. Oh, look, I can't. I can't speak for anyone else. But like, obviously, you can bring physical things into Shadesmar. Yeah, yeah I, I still that. I want to see someone like, like moving some lumber through a shit like through the portal, <laughs> and they're just like shoving it down into the into the. Yeah, like, how does pole. that work? I don't know. Yeah, uh, it, it's weird because shard blades are the physical man- manifestation of a primary, primarily cognitive entity. Yeah. So it yeah. it's weird. It's weird. It, it just the weird part to me is that the dead eye can just be in a totally different location than the actual blade. Well, that's just not do- too unusual because like the beads and the like um, mist reflections of like stuff in schedule cognitive realm don't have to be in the same place like the mist the mist reflections like get upset though and like break down as you move away from their real location i thought yeah i thought thought their location did matter yeah i I thought the beads like they'll eventually like go back to where they should their like analog is in the physical realm but like you can move them willy-nilly like that's that's how uh the eco had his dad on the ship because he just he caught him and just put him in the cabin so it didn't matter right 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 yeah but like you could totally let's like grab a bead like in cognitive um, carbranth and go to Shinovar, like no problem. If you drop it, it will start making its way back to where it should be. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but, yeah. which I, is pretty I did much feel like Skadriel was stricter though. And Brandon has said it's because their connection is through the spiritual realm. So I mean, it's that's, like that's an easy answer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just like they're connected through the spiritual realm, so like their locations don't matter because location doesn't matter in the spiritual realm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just it's just weird. So I I I I'm just curious if unbonded blades can be in the cognitive realm. I feel like that's a thing someone would try at some point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I could like, see it just not working. Though. So. Yeah, I just wonder well, so okay. I I'm pretty on the side of that it wouldn't work at all but uh i just wonder what it would do to the dead eye would it just like be the same like it's 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 weird mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah and i just at my gut reaction yeah. is if it was possible like the dead eye would be really mad at you that's true Maybe it'd be good for them, and they would just like have the physical part that was out there like back, and they'd be like a little better. <laughs> well, we we do have a quote that says, uh, "Do dead eyes disappear in Shadesmar when they are summoned to the physical realm?" And Brandon said, "Yes, mostly." Which is which, a great answer. It kind of doesn't but, help uh, with the physical with like the blade, though. You know, it's unbonded. Well, but but one could say than that an unbonded blade is like a permanently summoned blade. That that True. is a yeah. excellent point. Yeah. And yeah. Maybe there's just not much to see. All of my objections about this. Maybe so, they are. Yeah, there you go. So like the dead eye would however a summoned dead eye would look like maybe mostly translucent and you can barely see them. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Right? But yeah. then you try and bring it in the perpendicularity and it's like, hey, I'm the dead eye, I'm back here, right? Like <laughs> it's yeah. just that simple, right? I'm still scary. Yeah no. Yeah, no, I think that's a good idea. So, unfortunately, probably not in Shadesmar, but it, look. There's, there, there's a reflection gotta, in Shadesmar. There is a reflection in Shadesmar. I guess that just wonders, how would you bring a blade back out of Shadesmar if that it, was the case? You'd have that's to have just... the dead eye with you when you were transitioning. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So yeah. it would be really suck if you like went to the cognitive realm, but like the dead eye was somewhere else? <laughs> So, like, because like, it would disappear here. from your possession, like, it would manifest fully, like, somewhere else where you don't know, and then you try to get back out, it's like, well, your shard blade's gone, because you didn't bond it like a smart person. Well, the, I feel like the, uh, well, we know that if you, you summon the the blade, like, the, the dead eyes, like... The dead eyes stay wherever they were. Do they, though? Because yes. we, we do have... This word of Brandon that, uh, you know, if your if your dead eye is really far away from you, then that can add some time, but that yeah, hasn't but measurably like, measured. That's part of like the transitioning. 
Ah, and so it's all going through the spiritual. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. like, why would Iko go through the hassle of like getting his feeling dad. his father yeah. away? I, gu- if I guess that's disappeared true. every time. Cut, he was summoned. That'd be, like, that'd be so annoying. It's like every like, to every other day, day, you're like, oh, okay, got to go back to Carbron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess that's true. Do you think that's where the blades are? Someone just like shoved them all through the perpendicularity, and they like no longer exist in the physical realm. They're just dead eyes now. I mean, not that. that I mean, not. Yeah, sure. Like, I I feel like that could definitely be a thing. But I mean, how many dead eyes did we actually see in Shadesmar? Two. There weren't that Maya. Yeah. And Eco's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're not just like commonly wandering around. No. Well, some of them are under the, think... they're under the sea. Is what they were saying. If they're not uh, been captured, they're just wandering around under the ocean. Yeah. doing their thing which That's is kind of creepy super yeah. creepy imagine that about. yeah <laughs> i'm just imagining you remember like lord of the rings and they're going like the, oh that yeah swamp before mordor and there's all the dead mm-hmm. people there like see that, i'm thinking of pirates of the caribbean like chris of black pearl <laughs> where they oh, walk yeah. Yeah. across yeah, 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 oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah 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 that's yeah. a good one that's a good image. That's a good image, though, and I think we should use that. Well, the when wiki for the they're walking, no. when they're walking to the Shardblade Cache, that's the, and they're going through it through the Shadesmar side, and then you see all the dead eye, weird dead eye, and it'll be very creepy. It's not a bad idea though, because like Yasna or was it? It's Ivory who says they're looking for the heralds, and they're like, "Look on the other side. You can't hide your soul on the other side as easily." So if they're looking for the blades, they might still make use of that at some point in the future. I totally forgot that line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I guess, I guess so. You could just find Deadeye, and if they're just floating under the ocean, I guess you could find where the shard blades were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they, they'd back be over. going to their physical location, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So just, I, instead just, of them walking, like they just stand there. That's mm-hmm. super creepy. Just look for the uh, giant pile of dead eyes that are on top of each other under the ocean, and you found your shard blade cache. So well. I guess there's not been very many people transitioning who have not been Radiants on Rishar for since the Recreants, right? Yeah. Uh, except World Hoppers, so it would probably be hard to figure out. But now that we have some Radiants, maybe that, you know, if they if Adolin does revive Maya, then it's like, well, crap, we got to find the rest of the Shard Blades. And then, you know, you could have some Else Callers go into the Cognitive Realm and try and figure out where they are. Like, yeah, that would be a thing that's possible to do, I feel Oh, like. yeah. I, de- I definitely feel like part four of Oathbringer was, like, everybody get ready for there to be a bunch of sheen- scenes in Shadesmar in this series, like, going forward, you know? I would imagine so. Yeah. I, I think that's that's obviously going to be important with Brandon creating cities and stuff and designing a lot of this, right? Mm-hmm. That's what the uh, year gap is going to be, just all the Radiance combing through Shadesmar. I'm looking for blades. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you didn't like part four, buckle up for the rest of Stormlight. <laughs> the, bu- book six is actually an Indiana Jones story in Shadesmar where they're trying to find Shard Blade. <laughs> yes. I'll be the best, just like Bands of Morning was. Uh, except that the Radiant Blades are just demonstrably better in every way. But you know. Then the Bands of Morning? No, no, no. Then oh, okay. the dead Shard Blades that they're oh, finding in this okay. fake I w- book. I was like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Grace, you 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 have uh, another idea as well. Okay, so <laughs> some of you listeners may know I am a little obsessed with the Pooley interlude and the uh, in Oathbringer, in Oathbringer, the, the Natan person, the Natan, yes, at the lighthouse. So my idea was, what if these mysterious sailors lost on the infinite sea? That are going to are come the- back to destroy Roshar, apparently. Just have all of the missing shard blades. I'm gonna read this, uh... They'll come with light in their pockets, Grandfather had said. They'll come to destroy, but you should watch for them anyway. Because they'll come from the origin. The sailors lost on an infinite sea. You keep that fire high at night, Puli. You burn it bright until the day they come. They'll arrive when the night is darkest. So, not a lot of information there. You you know who are sailors lost in an infinite sea? The Sean the dead eye in no. the dead eye in Shadesmar finding their blades oh. <laughs> under the Shadesmar seas. Oh, yeah. It's like what? 
could that be referring to? I I've heard no some idea. people on Discord who believe that it's just a prophecy about Dalinar and his radiance, which is not my favorite thing. I don't think it connects as closely. I think it's just like it has been twisted over millennia oh. to yeah. be them. But I I think that this sounds a lot cooler than it just being Dalinar and his radiance. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I'd be kind of bummed if that was. And I definitely didn't pick up on that piece of foreshadowing, if that's what it was. So it kind of makes the interlude pointless, in my opinion. I feel opinion, like but. there's lots of things in these books that are like, that doesn't make any sense. But then like book eight or something, it'll be like, oh, that's what that's about. You know, See, I this just, could be one of those. I just really like the idea of at some point, like our radiance are going to be super battered from fighting this desolation. And then all of a the sudden, they're without, they aren't going to get any warning. There's just going to be this army of like, Sailors lost on the infinite sea, whatever that means, coming with all these missing it's shard plates to Tan. destroy Roshar. Yeah. It's Darathel's <laughs> great great grandson. Yeah. I'm back. <laughs> I made it all I the way around the be world. Back. It took forever. <laughs> the line they'll arrive when the night is darkest always sounds to me referring to the night of sorrows, which have, has someone asked if we've actually seen the Night of Sorrows? Has that no one's happened? asked. No. That'd be a good so. Someone should really ask because I always thought the Night of Sorrows was going to be when the Everstorm hit, but we Me haven't even too. seen the yeah. But the Night of Sorrows hasn't even been mentioned in yeah. Oathbringer at all. Yeah, so we can just tweet it and like frame it like a wiki question and be like, "Can we just redirect Night of Sorrows to True Desolation or no?" <laughs> <laughs> See if we can get something out of that. <laughs> so what? Um that line reminded me of is um gandalf in the lord of the rings when he uh-huh. shows up at like the battle of helm's deep but like mm. before that where he's like look for me at dawn of the fourth day oh yeah that was such a good yeah. moment yeah 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 and he brings the light with him yeah. oh yeah i forgot about that it could be gandalf that's something we haven't really <laughs> addressed it could totally be gandalf the tolkien estate would be pissed but <laughs> Brennan's gonna do what Brennan's gonna do. And uh, Eric, the, this being the Night of Sorrows is my theory. Like, I have posted that multiple oh, times on the shard. Okay, alright, okay. Yeah, that, no. that when whoever these guys come, the, that that's the Night of Sorrows? Yeah, no, I'm I'm with you, Grace. Like, 100% support. I think this is gonna be something really cool, and that, that could be the Night of Sorrows. They come with light in their pockets. They'll come to destroy, but you should watch for them anyway, because they'll come from the origin. Sailors lost on an infinite sea. And they'll arrive when the night is darkest. What? Yeah. Come to destroy makes me a little nervous a little bit, though, you know? (laughs) This makes me feel like this is like some weird reference to original human Voidbringers or something? Like, I don't know. Like, Uh, Yeah. Okay, twist on that, Grace. Their arrival triggers the Night of Sorrows, whatever it is, and these are not good guys. This oh, does, this, does these not make me like think these guys. people are going to be good. This little oh, passage. you thought they were bad? Oh, I thought yeah, you were saying yeah, that they yeah, were like yeah. going to help the Radiance. No, oh, no, 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 no. Wow. no. That the, that that'll be like the third act reveal. That it's like, no, now things are real bad. And it's like end of book five of the Stormlight Archive. See you in eight years. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Well, we've been wondering what is going to be the book five ending. Yeah, this and would Brandon be like this... has said that. Well, there is not another continent out there. There is something. Yes. Well, I don't know. Well, I pretty firmly believe that this is Darithel's, like something to do with the Darithel legend, because he said there's yeah. more truth to it than people know. And... Mm-hmm. Oh, I would definitely be yeah. surprised if it didn't ha- relate to that. I just I just don't know how much we're going to get about the far side of the ocean on Roshar because I feel like in late Stormlight Archive we're going to literally go to Braze and we are literally going to go to Ashen at some point. Mm-hmm. I think I, we're going to have that, to see the will. origin at some point though. Yeah. Well, is the origin even a real thing cuz it's the same high storm that just goes around the planet, yeah, right? Who like, knows? Is that even a thing? We don't see, know. Yeah. There's a part of me that has wondered if like and, like, this is probably unlikely because we don't really know how the humans got there. But, like, it could be the origin of where they, like, popped into existence on Rashar. But that also wouldn't be great because I'd be on the ocean. That'd kind of suck if they didn't have boats they were coming with. <laughs> <laughs> be tough for some yeah. refugees. But Cool. Well, that's a really weird line that will probably make sense by book nine, I imagine. Mm-hmm. So, you know. We great. should hope. <laughs> At the very least by book ten. <laughs> yes. At least. Um, Hopefully. I'm sure that will mean something. 
I was reading uh, Matt91 on the forums. Uh, he had a theory not about blades, but actually about plate. That was also kind of a boring answer, but uh, was, y- you know, gems, you use gems and stormlight to heal shard plate, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. it seems reasonable that if they didn't realize that right after the recreants, then they it could just easily get destroyed. Uh, so plate could just be split into tiny pieces that, you know, couldn't have been regrown. Or they wouldn't know how to regrow it, and then they'd get lost in, by the time they knew how to regrow it. So that could be where a lot of plate went. That just It just broke. Yeah, that, that's an excellent idea. Very so, plausible. But if you just left out a broken piece of plate in a high storm, would the natural stormlight not regrow it? I think it would, oh, but it might not be, end up where you left it. Yeah. It might be in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, like I could see, like they just got, all got blown into the yeah, ocean. That's, that's how the sailors on the Infinite Sea are getting all of it. Just wait oh for it to blow God, into the ocean. They're fishing it right out. <laughs> they, 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 there's, there's like just this artificial island that's just a bunch of floating shard plate waiting for the sailors to come. And then they'll just appear and they'll be like, "Great, I got my boat." And then they go. <laughs> yep. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> yeah. Then, uh. This this is another interesting one from the forums. Subvisual Hayes said uh, that, you know, obviously there's a line that Feverstone Keep is near Rawl Elarim and thus located in Erie. And so he uh, they are thinking, if so, why didn't the nation of Erie suddenly become a superpower? Hundreds of shard blades and plates were dropped on their soil, and yet by present time they appeared to possess almost none of them? And yet Alethkar became a world power and later went on a Nazir conquering spree <laughs> with less than a tenth of the number of blades that were left behind in Eerie. And uh, they think uh, the blades and plates uh, that are still in the physical realm belonged to knights that abandoned their oaths in unusual and isolated places. Those that dropped their weapons in a giant pile like the Windrunners and Stone Wards did at Feverstone Keep likely inspired some force to come and collect the majority of blades for safe storage in Shadesmar. There's kind of a lot of things going on there, but I like the idea that, hey, once man abandoning our oath there didn't work super great, so let's maybe like put down our stuff somewhere else. That's not going to be super obvious. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's... I would like to clarify that... You do not need a ton of shard blades and plates to conquer Azir. They are a very weak military country. Yeah. And uh, we don't know what the political landscape of Roshar was at this time. Well, that's certainly yeah. true. Because that they, they were the Silver Kingdoms, and I imagine uh, whatever governance occurred would dissolve very rapidly. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, just, just a, a point... Uh, the Iriali, if, if you look back in Oathbringer, mm-hmm. the Iriali do not find Alethkar to be a th- threat at all. No. They're like, yeah. Alethkar has not been important in the world stage since the Sunmaker. They're just like, the Iriali triumvirate are just slamming Alethkar that they're... The Iriali obviously think they're a superpower. It's like, the Alethkar is they completely They have a irrelevant. point with that. Alethkar yeah. was broken up into very weak like height prince domes for a very long time. Yeah, their only strength was blades, but not really of much else, I guess. Right? It makes me surprised more that uh uh Yakoved did not come and get them while they were like in their whole warring states period, you know? Well that's like one of the few things that would unite them. It's like yo yeah, yeah. don't mm, but like, like we're fighting each other, but like only we're allowed to fight each other. Like you go go Mm-hmm. But yeah, still, like lack probably... of a lack of a centralized structure would still make them weaker. You know what I mean? Like having to to get ten co-equal guys to work together as opposed to a kingdom that has a king. Well, like that's how still going to be less organized. Was the Vedan kingdom necessarily? Like, I bet not that strong. In probably my opinion, not that, strong. but because they still, still had high up. princes and stuff, so it's probably a, a similar, more centralized, but it's probably just as much of a cluster there, really. Mm-hmm. It plus. 
our view yeah, of Roshar and history is very Eastern and Voren centric, and yeah. a lot of the Western countries seem way more stable politically if you That's actually true. look at it than a lot of the countries we're familiar with. Erie's mm-hmm. still named Erie. It's the yeah. only Silver Kingdom that re- retained its name. Like, yeah, I want to know about that. Azir well, went through at least one genocide and is still super <laughs> strong. And pretty much seems to have very similar government to it did back then, to what it did back then. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe. They still had primes at the very least. Yeah. Well, sure. Well, that's just like, you just... It's a cool that's just their word for a king, right? Like, that doesn't mean their structure of governance was the Fair thing, enough. Fairly, yeah. right? But, like, like circling back... You just back, a king somewhere else. Uh, a little bit, though. The point about, like, all the shard blades being dumped in Eerie is interesting a little bit, because... We, we kind of see a similar thing with the Soulcasters and that they're supposedly coming out of Amia, but there's yeah. not a lot in the East for whatever reason, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Well, if you were in Eerie and you picked up one of those chart lights, well, if I was there, the first thing I would do is, like, go to some place that did not have these chart that's, lights. So, that's like, true. it would yeah. be easier king. to kill all yeah. those and people, like... I- actually a fair fight like no <laughs> I, i'm gonna create my own kingdom with this blade and far away from everyone else i'm not going to tell anyone where i'm going and i'm just going to conquer somewhere yeah. else yeah mm-hmm. that's that's true right. yeah any other thoughts i think we kind of touched on all the possible bases <laughs> and where they could be they could be in Shadesmore. they could be in whatever organization they are either in the physical realm the cognitive realm or the spiritual realm. <laughs> good good thanks we didn't even I talk mean, about the spiritual right. realm <laughs> we didn't even talk about the spiritual realm that's right no nope. technically Odium's we did we did touch on the spiritual realm. we did talk about the spiritual realm. but not about the blades um, but, you know. yeah. so do you this is just something i thought of do you think odium is going to spend effort like really looking for them and trying to get them I think, well, maybe not Odium himself, oh, yeah. but I feel like that would be a thing Fused would be interested in getting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I it, feel like, like there is a group of Fused charged with collecting shard blades. But yeah. it might not be like looking up for all the missing ones. It's like ones that people know about. It's like they're not picky. They're just looking for shard blades. They're getting shard blades. Yeah. yeah I, 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 yes. I just thought of something we haven't talked about. So okay. do you think there are, I, there are probably some in the valley for, like, the Night Watcher to give out? hmm Yeah. I'm sure there are people who have come, like, I want a shard blade. She even, I think she offered Dalinar shards explicitly while he's there. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. she does. And Nightblood, so she's got a lot. And Nightblood. <laughs> yeah. That, that's true. I would not be surprised if Cultivation's like, I got, I got a lot of shard blades. What's up? What are you going to do about it? Yeah, like, I, I, guess I could not very see much. her collecting the corpses of her children to, like, to <laughs> yeah, lay them true. to rest. Like, not for creepy reasons. But, like, <laughs> Sad day. Like, yeah. No, that that's true, though. That like, But at the same time, I think if any yeah, shard is like, they're dead, but we can use their corpse to further our goal, like, mm-hmm. Cultivation would do it. Yeah, like, she's collecting them for the moment where they are most useful. And until that, that point, that, like, they are resting. I think that's possibly my favorite theory <laughs> out of this entire thing, just that, why wouldn't Cultivation collect them? Yeah, Sure. Like, that seems completely reasonable, because... I mean, it's, it's hard for us to ascribe motive to Cultivation, because <laughs> we do not really know too much. But I... I f- I feel like this whole dead shard blade thing would probably be suboptimal in her uh mm-hmm. estimation perhaps mm-hmm. and that maybe uh collecting them so that some things had a chance to grow so there wasn't just a lot of fighting oh. on Rashar uh, uh, mm. uh, uh, maybe yeah. but just because they are dead spren like that would not hold her back from using it to her advantage that's true, but we don't really know like what kind of forces she could have. Yeah, maybe she does. Like we have no idea. Sure, like she wouldn't be doing anything directly, but like she would be setting things in motion that would bring about a collection of shard blades. Oh, maybe cultivation's forces are the sailors. Great, <laughs> 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 they're the sailors. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say though. 
that the idea that Fused would be actively seeking out Blades to fight Radiance and be like, oh, Radiance, you're coming back. That's adorable. We've got Blades too now. I think that will be a big deal, personally. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for scary. that to be a thing. Like you know, like if they've got like a unit they're building with blades or something, you know, and to just deploy that and surprise some people. That's just an advantage of Odium being like, eh, you know, I don't know if we just wear down the heralds enough, they'll give up, and <laughs> um, if we just wait enough, then the radiance won't exist anymore. And uh, uh, unfortunately. All the singers got lobotomized, so it took us a while to, you know, get that in motion <laughs> again. But we're here now. We're going to win. But we're here yeah. now, and the radiants are pretty broken, so we still There's have like a There's like eight or nine advantage. of them, Eric. They're gonna, <laughs> they're fine. Eight or nine. Wow. Cool. I bet... I bet Odium could spot where... If he cared, he could spot where those dead eye are and the shades are. Uh, whatever he wanted. We don't know how much a shard can do in the cognitive realm. Certainly. It's like they have to be looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd have to be actively looking for yeah. sure. Yeah. And then we get back into where is Odium infested? Oh, you know, where is he at? Not- is he on Brace? Is he on Rishar? Is he on both? Is he in space? <laughs> He's is on he on David, drink some water, please. <laughs> yeah. Drink some water, David. <laughs> this is how yeah. my voice is. And I don't no, have any it's water, not. so. It's not. It is. No. So put your comments below if you're angry about David's croaky voice, because clearly you can tell when he gets croaky when he doesn't, because all of us And then realize can. that this will be the way See, it notice is. how you're not croaky right now? This is, anyway... I didn't drink any water. <laughs> yeah. You clear clearly. your throat, though. Clearly. I will clear my um, throat more often. Any other thoughts? I want a shard blade. <laughs> uh, I would like a spren friend who became a shard blade, not necessarily a dead one. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> So you know you know what time it is, guys? Yes, it is five fifty eight. <laughs> okay, great. Not here. Uh, I m- might have made that joke before. I don't remember. <laughs> you probably did. It's time for who's that Cosmere character? Who's that Cosmere character? And uh, Grace, you're gonna host this one. Yes. So. Listeners, you know how the game is played. You send an email to who's that Cosmere character at gmail.com and give five clues, and I will read those clues to our contestants. And they each get, after each clue, they get a guess to try to prove their Cosmere knowledge by answering the question who is that Cosmere character? All right. <laughs> our first one today was sent in by the head honcho on the forums the 17th shard the first clue is this character is dead maya <laughs> no it's not maya that's gonna be my guess um <laughs> ah. baka the captain of dalnar's elites it is not him <laughs> too bad gavilar it is not gavilar okay clue two this character was a noble. Uh, Tanalon or either Tanalon. Or, or other Tanalon. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I can... <laughs> there's not either Tanalon. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. Oh. Yondel. I think we're getting bim. It is not Yondel. I-, I feel like we might get be be- getting bamboozled with Stormlight. Yeah, hey, I, I just guessed an Elantris character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but overall, Lord Tresting. It is not Ooh. Lord Tresting. Got to get more characters from the prologue. Of <laughs> Era Clue one. three. Menace. This Tresting. character lived on Era One Scadrial. Ooh, okay, hey, all right. There are not a, a lot of guess. dead nobles in Era One Scadrial. Uh, what about Sean Alariel? It is not Sean Alariel. Okay. Man, there's a lot of there are a lot of dead nobles. Yeah. So yeah. That was kind of the that was kind of one of the themes. We got <laughs> Straff Venture. It is Straff's, not Straff yeah. Venture. Straff's a good one. Oh, good. what if it's uh wait, did you oh, did you already no. guess? No, I did, but I, I was just talking out loud. It's, are you cheating, Eric? <laughs> no, I was gonna give you an idea if you liked it, David. Oh, but I've fine, got, I, I guess got an I idea. Won't. Okay, uh, fine. Um, Chars and Throne. <laughs> it's not that person. <laughs> Clue no, yeah, four. More, more specific. This character was prominent in the Farmost Dominance. In the wait, what? Which one in is the, the Farmost? Oh, it's from it's from Eleventh Metal. 
Oh, crap. That's what's his face. <laughs> See, you know what my problem is now, Grace? Is that for MVI, the Mistborn RP, I did lots of world building for the Farmos Dominance. So I have no idea what, like, like before 11th Metal came out. So I don't even know. I what read name? the 11th Metal Zenry. once. Is it a Zenry? No. House of Zenry? That's what I think no. that's the name of it. No, they weren't in. They 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 were not in the Pharmos Dominance. That I okay. do know. House of Zenry is not in the Pharmos Dominance. My for apologies. Sure. They are competitors of House Techiel. I do know that off the top. My, of my apologies. Head. Thank you very much. It's a weird name. Uh, their build their buildings don't have corners. Pharmos Dominance. I have no guess. All right, give me clue five. All right, clue five. It, mu- it must. Be this character was replaced by a Kandra. Renel. Yes, oh, it is Renel. Or Renew. Renel actually from the Pharmos Dominance. I think. Yeah, I think he is. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold up. One Uh-oh. second. Eric's calling. Is that Let's true? Yeah, no, know. he's a prominent. If the wiki is correct. <laughs> Fingers crossed. He's a Western. <laughs> No, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, Bree. I know of Renault. Bree said slowly, he's a Western lord. He has a great deal of power in the far, no- far most dominance. How did I forget this? <laughs> this, is, this is chapter six. This is chapter six of Final Empire. Right there. All right, all right. You- good one. <laughs> that was good. Uh, could we- I thought for sure it'd be something 11th medal. I, I, yeah, you got me. I, I, feel, I feel upset. Right. What is if Matt was here, if Elmo? Matt was here, he would he, we would not we would not be getting that wrong. Matt would know. Matt would know about the Western powers. Although I I don't know if you would really say that the farmost is Western Lord Breeze, but you know whatever that's fine. The, Breeze. the directions are weird and <laughs> well that's Shadrill because the North Pole is at Luthadel, so I'm sure everyone's a little confused <laughs> where everything is. <laughs> she- that's true. Shesler was what I was thinking of from uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah 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 not yeah. a Zenray. Yeah, how, how House of Zenry. It had a Z in it, Eric. <laughs> it had a Z. Wow, cool. All right, so this next one was sent in by Kalinowski on the forum. All right, Good. clue one. Great. This character cannot use investiture. Void? Wait, no, he uses investiture. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Should I Common count that? Common misconception. <laughs> Someone, an aluminum construct. That's not my guess. Uh... I guess you the, could use to be fair. Oh, yeah, is my no. guess, but okay, yeah. like that's obviously not, not the case. So restricted from using investiture. It just says this Would character to- cannot use investiture. I bet it means they don't have magic. Tensoon. No. He that's uses debatable. investiture by way of spikes. <laughs> is that using investiture? He's a he. By just being. That, uh, I don't know about that. He is a uh, being that you know. it would not be short cast if we don't become ped- pedants about. Is Vale human? human? <laughs> is Vale human? Is Vale non-human? <laughs> no one commented below in that episode if Vale was human or not. All right, David, Probably very good. Yeah. Care. Yeah. Um, uh, Adeline. It is not Adeline. Clue tail. This character is from Skadriel. Reen. That <laughs> is not Reen. You Whose both guess lose does your that guess. count? No. no. I guess I guess that's fair. It's basically at the same time. Fine. Oh, did you both say that? Yeah. We yeah. both said Reen, yeah. I don't know. I just heard a weird like noise and then I heard Ian's voice, so. Oh well that explains that. Uh you should have guessed wow. Reen's Obsidian, anyway. No, um, uh, <laughs> It can't use Investiture, you're right. You're right, um, David. What about Waylon, the guard based off Dan Wells? <laughs> it is not a Waylon. All right. Too bad. Clue three. This character does not die on page. Does that mean they die? They do die, though? Or is it just that they, you don't see them die? The character oh, does in. not die on page. Demo, not demo, no. de- not demo. Uh, it's um, Dox, Doxin, <laughs> Doxin, Doxin is my guess. Not demo. It is not Doxin. Okay. You, what about Yedin? It like is not twice. Yedin. A lot of people died off screen because the world ended. <laughs> basically, that's. 
Stra- I think even Straff. Did you not? I don't know. Maybe like he kind of like it kind of faded Straff to black. Straff is a tid eye. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> he was chopped in half by Vin. I know, but he like didn't see it, and then like it cut to Vin, and he was already gone. So he kind of like you. No know, one saw him get chopped in half. <laughs> oh, come on, that would be BS. That would be BS if that was the case. Uh, I want another clue. Right. I don't know. I feel like this is gonna be some random person who died in the fall of Luthadel in Hero of Ages. That's right. what I'm guessing. Clue four. This character is an obligator. Ooh. Oh. Uh. Oh, Tavidian Techiel. Ah. No. Oh. Didn't he die on screen? Or did they? Oh, they, they I'm pretty sure they black. drag That's him away of... to yeah, they, they, play. They, they, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Poor yeah. Vin's dad. Yeah. Not the best father. No. Obligators. Who are obligators who die? Okay, well, Norden didn't die. Norden didn't die. Yeoman Yeoman, died at well, some point. Yeah. Well, okay. He died at some <laughs> point. And not yeah, on screen. Like the, but the, he the, burns Adium so he can use investiture. No, so that's the edit. Unpowered. Are we allowed to ask for a clarification from yeah. the person who's asking us this question, or is that not allowed? <laughs> not allowed. About the about the whole dying on page thing. I, great, Grace. What, do you want me to like reply to this email and be like, "We were wondering." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm yeah, saying like no. you you know who the answer is, and you can say yeah. oh, when they say yeah, died like, off screen, they actually did die, or you can say. I have to they pull up the, the wiki screen. page for this. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's another clue, guys. Quick, let me go to Google Analytics to see what real time person is going to on the wiki. I think I can do that. Oh wait, well, I forgot really that all of Arrow One sucks. <laughs> oh wait, was that? <laughs> coming soon. Copper mind objectives. Uh, uh, it's an obligator. Oh, it's an obligator. Yeah. Obligator. Pa- oh, oh, my next guess was going to be Penrod, but uh, Penrod's not an obligator. No, no but not. until the obligator thing happened. Yeah. Oh. Because he died off screen. What about who was the obligator in the prologue? <laughs> Final was Empire. It, I don't think oh, he was well, serving dang. Lord Trusting. Did he die or did he leave? I assume Kelsier was very thorough. <laughs> I thought he was. I thought he was like peacing out like that day, and like they got him that night. You that, know, that's yeah, I guess the that's impression true. I got. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't think he was named. No, I don't think he was named because he was just one of Ventures' obligators. Uh, named obligators. I literally know Norden and Yeoman, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to get another clue? I'm trouble. Yeah. Okay, does obligator include Inquisitor? <laughs> well, they have powers, though. Yeah, they have <laughs> powers. <laughs> <laughs> By definition. Oh, wait, wait, what is the name of the obligator that Vin and What's-His-Face were fleecing in book one? Did he die? <laughs> Off screen? <laughs> Probably. I don't think so. He probably died. He died eventually off screen. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, yes. I don't remember his name. It's a very so. open ended clue. <laughs> I know. Uh, We're still waiting on Grace. It's... Uh, who Wait, was... I'm waiting for David. Is he, did he give up? Oh, I was. I, I thought we were waiting for your arbitration of whether or not, like, does this person actually die, or is this like, or or is it just like fate unknown? Um. See, but the wiki article sucks, so I don't have to like. I can, I, Grace, I can help search for you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Got you covered. I'm trying to think. I won't tell anyone. Was there like? Were there all, no? All the all the obligators in Urteu got killed. They didn't get to do yeah. anything. Urteu, like, like really? I just I'm gonna say how Urteu, I want to say it. Urteu, come on. Oh, I hate that. Urteu is how I said in my head, and I can't change it. No, anymore, that's stupid. So. It sounds like Astreyu, which is I think from seven years ago. I read the Final Empire, and then I read Hero of Ages because I skipped all the attention. I'm just kidding. Oh, but and I pronounced <laughs> Urteu as Urteu in my head, and now I cannot change it. Great. Well, I'll put that on the list for the pronunciation cast. And <laughs> I don't want to be on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I'll be sure to make fun of you there. How about Sounds that? Sounds good. How hard is this for you to determine where? All the, right, the so I. Died? I think it just means fate unknown. Okay. okay. All right. Clue five. I need. If clue you're five. wrong, I'm gonna flip out. Clue five. <laughs> this character is one of the first to notice the pattern of the number sixteen. It's Norden. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. What? Wait, wait, okay, I said Jeff Norden like 10 years ago. You said I, the only two obligators I know are Yamin and no- Norden. You never you actually never, guessed Norden. You never guessed it. I I'm was waiting take, for you to A, I'm going to take credit, and B, because, like, yeah, 
Norton like lived, so I guess I kind of didn't like. I'm going to have. I don't like this negative clue thing, where we're like intentionally be left being led astray. Like, oh, he didn't die on screen. Like, yeah, like if you're going to have a clue like that, like he has to die during the books. Hey, he died before Era Two, the present day. But like, yeah. In era one. Yeah. yeah. Also, as Grace I, that, makes fun that. of this wiki article that I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> there is no history section. Uh, he didn't. Uh, he that is, this is one of the earlier ones I worked on. He didn't really have a history except for being around. So if I find a random era one article that has an awesome appearance in her personality section and like nothing else, it's probably you. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. There's been a lot of eras of my wiki writing where that was not as yeah. good. Yeah. Peter's definitely never gotten on your case about your wiki writing. It is annoying to cite tables that require three different citations to explain where Himmler spikes come from. Uh-huh. Speaking so, of the copper mine. Yeah. Speaking of the copper mine, guys, we have August objectives. If you guys would like to help make the copper mine suck less, so Grace will complain less, and so we'll all complain less, really, <laughs> uh, then please check out the link in the description and uh, help out. This will air a bit midway in August, but uh, there's still plenty of time and we would really like your help on yes, the Copper Mine. We and if uh, you don't aren't interested in any of those topics, you can always swing by the Copper Mind Discord and we can find you something to work on. You're interested in the books, that's why you're listening to this podcast and... I know all of you want the copper mine to be the best it can be, and uh, we do really need help. Uh, th- there are definitely people who are just like this article needs help. I'm like, yeah, a lot of you. So yeah, please yeah. help. Yeah. Not help. a helpful <laughs> statement unless you're like this. Sta- this article really sucks. I'm going to help it. <laughs> Thank you. Like yes, that yes. is useful. If you like, like yeah. There- if you like to let us know an article sucks, we probably know. We're probably already sad <laughs> like, about it. <laughs> like. You just hit random. That's a fun exercise. <laughs> no, I was gonna just look at uh, yeah. There's about 486 articles that are total garbage, which are stubs, <laughs> and then there's another 828 that uh need expansion that are partially complete things. So, I think among those, you'll find something that you're interested in if you don't like the objectives, but uh, if you want a more guided direction on uh what to work on uh then our copper mind objectives are here for you and we'll keep uh doing that every month uh so we would really love your help yes we uh, would. and so on that note i hope you enjoyed this episode we, we did get a little silly and off task but uh this was a pretty theoretical one where it's like we didn't really know what to do but <laughs> i I am scared of fused with shard blades. That's that's my getaway, and I like the idea of cultivation taking them. Not as scary as fused with night blood. Well, that's yeah. That, Anything there will definitely with be night a fight blood is that. scary. See, David, you don't want Zeth to die because otherwise, then the fused will grab night blood. So you know that's still fifty fifty for me. <laughs> I'd rather have Kaladin fight a fuse with a night blood than have Seth continue to be bleh. That'd be a cool. That'd be a cool fight scene. That, that would that would be really cool. I, I will I will admit. But w- would a shard blade even block night blood? Oh, unsheath. I, don't I have so. gotten into arguments about that before. I don't know. If I have time. <laughs> okay, so see you guys next time. <laughs> we'll save that for another time. Follow us on seventeenshard.com, Facebook, Twitter. You can uh, subscribe on YouTube and follow us on SoundCloud and leave us a comment down below and you can leave us a review on iTunes. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Peace out. Bye. Bye.